Okay, so for our next part of our geometry creation, we need to trim some features. So what I'm going to do real quick is click on my zoom window and zoom into this bottom area right here. Okay, and all you do is left click on one side and left click on the bottom right and you will zoom into that zoom window area. So we got our geometry right here. If you look at the drawing, you're going to notice that this line extends all the way down and this line extends all the way down. So really this one is useless for us. Now the only reason this was created is because of the offset in our previous uh, video. So we need to first delete this line. All right, so select this line and just hit the delete button and it will get rid of it. So now what we want to do is we want to extend this line and this line all the way down to this line right here. Okay, and it's a very nice and easy feature. All you have to do is come over here under the trim break extend. All right, and then what you want to do is come over here to the last feature. The last one is a trim to point. When you select it and select a line, you're able to select a point or a place where you want to extend that line to. So for example, I'm going to zoom in right here, select that line and you notice how now you can actually extend it to wherever you want, whether you want it to snap onto the line itself or you want to extend it. Now let's go ahead and just extend it past our part for now. I'm going to zoom out, move my part by holding control and clicking on the right key and doing the same thing for the right side over here. So what I've just done is extend both of those. So now you're able to come back and clean it up a little bit and go ahead and trim. So there's your divide delete button right here and just select this side and this side. And that's it. That's all it is. Very easy uh, feature to use. So the first four are all used for trimming. And then the last one is used for extending. So all you have to do is select a feature and select what side you want to extend it on by moving your mouse back and forth, whether it's on the right or left. For example, if I just want to show you how to extend this line, you can extend it here or you can extend it to the other side. And you'll see the white line is a preview of where your di what direction you're going to and where you're snapping it onto. All right. So this concludes this one. So in our next uh, video, we'll learn how to create the spline feature that is in the middle.